There's only one thing fit for that in the dustbin. I bought these three reels on eBay, uh, a job lot. Yeah, pretty tired, pretty uh, corroded, dirty grease and everything else. But they all work. And uh, what's this? This is a Mitchell 600. I've got one of those on the boat already on one of the rods. And uh, I've had it for years and they're a lovely, lovely reel. It's some really ancient ones. This is a a pen. It's a Delmar. What is it? It's a, a 285. Again, very sadly, well, I don't know if it shows it here, but dirty grease everywhere. Um, the guy said, you know, they'd been not clean for yonks and yonks. The same here, another pen. What's this one? This is a... Uh, a 160 again you can see the condition but uh, I looked very carefully at the at the photographs and I could see this was pretty much surface and I'm not worried about looks I wanted functionality and uh, I mean these are these are well made and uh, they'll certainly last so, and I'm very pleased that he hasn't sort of uh, tried to clean them up with uh, steel wool or anything like that because that, that absolutely just well It'll look shiny for two minutes, but um, you're doing more damage than good. So we'll strip these, we'll clean them down, and uh, for 15 quid for the three, I thought that represented uh, quite a bargain. Um, as I say, they do function; they just want a good, uh, a good going over. So we'll we'll clean them up, see how we get on. Well, as you can probably see, I've stripped the line off of them. I'll uh, put a new line on them. Before I strip them down completely, I'm just going to wash off all the worst, all the worst general gunge and salt and corrosion that I can. This is probably the worst one. Uh, you can see how bad this is. This will do as a backup. And that's had a slight prang. That's not... With a straight edge there, that handle's not not square, so that's had a, a biff. But I can take that handle off and straighten that, no problem. Um, there's very little that can go wrong with these, as I say. In their in their day, they were a good uh, a good reel and uh, going to be put to use again. Anyway, we'll give them a bit of a wash up before we strip them and um, see what the insides are like. I'm going to rinse these in just some lukewarm water and uh, half a cap of sugar soap. Uh, don't put uh, more than half a cap in, otherwise you'll end up with a, a mountain of foam and with a small toothbrush. Just going to clean off all the salts if you can. Toothbrush is handy because it gets in pretty well everywhere. And it's going to be much nicer to handle without all this grease and stickiness and bits of bait and goodness knows what. Well, I can see it's coming to start to shine already just with a little drop of warm water. Yes, I'm pleased with the way they're coming. Well, the innards, as I suspect, is in quite good condition. Um, I think I got myself a bargain there. As you can see, two hours stripped, cleaned, and re-oiled has been well worth the effort.